everybody it's Kendra here welcome back today I thought it would be fun to take you along as I work on some of my crafty projects throughout probably today and tomorrow I've been really hopping around between different types of crafts even doing spinning and sewing and cross stitch and knitting too and then also doing some store prep and things like that for my Etsy shop so I thought I'd just kind of show you things as I work on them um, so you can see a little bit of what I have been working on and I thought it would just be kind of like a uh, relaxed hangout sort of vlog. As you can see I have uh, young kids and I don't have a lot of time alone and so I'm just going to use little pockets of time here and there to show you some of the things that I have been doing lately. This isn't going to be my usual format, although really what is usual for me. I feel like I kind of jump around all the time on the types of videos that I want to make and Honestly, I feel like I don't lack the inspiration or the creativity. I have lots of ideas of things I want to work on and lots of plans, but I get like a burst of energy to work on it and then it kind of dwindles out as other things in my life take priority. And that's definitely been the case here over the past few months. It's been very busy and uh, we've had some extra kids staying with us, just very chaotic. So right now is nap time. We have a couple kids resting here in the afternoon. I've got like half an hour till I have to go do school pickup. This is as far as I got for today. Only got a little bit spun, but either way, a little bit of progress always helps. I do like to have an easy project ready to go to put in a few stitches here or there. It really does add up over time. And you know, something like this where I've only got a few minutes before I have to do the next thing, I can pull it out, put in a few things, and I don't have to worry about going to sit down, getting things settled. I can just put in a few stitches and then do the next cooking task. Mom? Yep. Um, yeah. Mom? I'm just cooking a deer roast with mashed potatoes and some vegetables and salad and you know the kids that have been staying with us eat either vegan or vegetarian so we've had lots of lentils and beans and things the last few weeks and so everyone's ready to change it up a little bit with this like classic prairie meal I feel tonight. So about two years ago, I got a 500 gram cone of this whole scar and coast and I made myself a small cardigan and a top and I still had a lot left. So I decided to make a shirt and this is gonna be for my youngest daughter. And I am doing the Prairie Fire pattern by Tin Can Knits. And this is where I'm at so far. I've knit like several of these now and I just love this lace pattern. It's not super intuitive, like I do have to check the pattern or the chart, um, but it's, I don't know, I really enjoy it. And once you kind of get the sequence, it just repeats all the way across. <laughs> and uh, I think it looks really nice. So that is what I have been working on in my knitting time. every morning I try to come in and take a look at my orders and get them all packaged and shipped out. I try to ship every Monday to Friday. Uh, so I have four to package and one that I already did before I started uh, filming here, but I'll show you the rest of them. So I eat for each one, I start by getting all of my envelopes addressed and then I go through and package the actual items for each order. First order here, they wanted a pair of scissors and a fried egg stitch marker. So I am starting to be at the point where I don't know where everything is. So it does take a little looking sometimes to find the ones that I need. I'm also trying to get a little bit better about labeling, but uh, at this point I've only got a few done. Um, lots of these are, some of them are singles and some of them are triples. This person ordered one giraffe, one penguin and one bunny. So most of my items I do have ready to ship, like with the clasp attached, but there are some where I give the option of having the fixed string or the lobster clasp. Those ones aren't ready, and this is just a restock. I just got some more of these charms in, so I haven't made them all up yet, so I'm gonna do that now. So 
So these are the cards that I send out with some information on the back with a little coupon code and things with each order. And I actually am soon, I'm actually maybe today, going to reorder my backing cards so that they kind of match a little better. I did have a different style that matched with these ones, but I ran out of them and I'm ready for a refresh. So one of these goes out with every order. The next person ordered one roller skate and these are new. I haven't even put them on the shelf yet. So that's an easy one. I also do try to get ahead with clipping my backing cards or punching them, but I got behind and I'm just on the last of them now. So I haven't sat down to get caught up yet, but hopefully soon I can put some time into that. Yeah. What? And don't Your bra? Mm -hmm. Never feed a Yeti spaghetti? I'm gonna open it for you. And there, the last order I'm packaging today has this collection of three. So all of these now have the backing with the thank you and now it's on to stamps. So the Canadian orders need one of these $1.94 stamps and the American ones require three of these that are $1.07 and then the American orders also need these airmail stamps. So I'm not going to show you the front since there's addresses but basically now it's stamping time. Just like that, these are ready to go in the mail. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end things here. I had a lot of fun putting together some clips for this video. So I do plan to make some more of these. I realized I didn't show any of my stitching or any of my sewing. So I'm gonna try to do that in the next one. Um, but I thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, I hope to do some more of these in the future. Thanks for watching, bye.